Welcome to my channel. If you found this video, either you or someone you know is dealing with erectile dysfunction. I really want to say that I'm sorry because this can be a huge aspect of intimacy and of course sexual health and I really really want to help you understand what might be going on but also what you can do about it, what treatments are available to you other than just taking a pill. So my name is Kristen Norwick, I am a physiotherapist with training, extensive training in pelvic health. So I really intimately understand your pelvic region, your pelvic floor muscles, and how they interact with your sexual function and your sexual health. If you want to learn more about all the other functions the pelvic floor muscles are involved in, you can watch this video here. But I'm really going to talk about sexual health and specifically erectile function in this video. Let's dive into it. What actually creates an erection in the penis? So your penis has tissue in it that you can imagine is almost like a sponge. It has lots of capillaries that are able to fill with blood. In order for the erection to happen, the tissues in the penis need to fill with blood and then that blood needs to stay there for the length of time that the erection is happening. There are two main processes that need to be functioning for you to be able to obtain this erection. So the first thing is the blood flow. You need to have enough blood flow so that the blood can flow into the tissues of the penis. The second thing is your pelvic floor muscles. So there are specific muscles that are involved in this process. So firstly, the muscle needs to be able to relax to allow the blood to enter the penis. So that relaxation allows blood flow in. And then there needs to be enough endurance and contraction in order for the muscle to hold that blood in your penis. If either of these processes, the blood flow or the pelvic floor muscles, are impacted, that can impact your ability to both obtain an erection and maintain an erection. Let's dive into your treatment options. Most folks know that you can take a pill, like Viagra or Cialis, and that pill will help you get an erection when you're aroused. Now, that pill generally is targeting that blood flow process, so it's increasing how much blood can flow to the penis. What it's not targeting though is it's not actually treating if your pelvic floor muscles are involved. It's not really targeting those muscles specifically, nor are you actually working on learning how to use your muscles better. It can help more in the short term, but if you are looking for a long-term solution, then really you need to learn how to use your pelvic floor muscles a little bit better. How you can use your pelvic floor muscles a little bit better? Well, first of all, you can work with a pelvic physiotherapist like myself. We have training in assessing your pelvic floor muscles and then treating what you need. So do you need a little bit more strength? Do you need to learn how to relax them? That's actually probably the most likely case. And then how do you apply that to sexual activity? How can you take what you learn about how to use your muscles and apply it to actually being able to have an erection when you are sexually active? Let me dive into exactly where these muscles are in your body. I have a model of the pelvis here. This is the pubic bone, so your penis would be right here at the pubic bone. And then if you look from below, your anus is here, so that's where you poop out of, and your tailbone is here, and your two sit bones are here. So your pelvic floor muscles fill this space in your pelvis. They attach all the way up to the pubic bone, and they attach all the way back to the tailbone. These muscles, if you're sitting right now and you rock side to side on your pelvis, you can feel that there's the squishy tissue in between your sit bones. So that's where your genitalia are, that's where your anus is, the space between your testicles and your anus. That's all where your pelvic floor muscles are. And so if you're contracting those muscles, it feels like you're tightening the area. It might even feel like you're pulling your testicles up closer to your body. And when you relax those muscles, it should feel like they're moving down a little bit towards the surface that you're sitting on. So letting your testicles move away from your body. If you just tried that out and you're like, I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't know if I can move those muscles. That's okay. A lot of people have never really thought about them. And a lot of people don't really know how to move them properly. That's where we can come in. We can teach you how to move them properly. And the thing is, is I don't know with certainty without working one-on-one -on -one with you, if your muscles are too tight, if they're too weak, or if they're not coordinated, so you're not using them exactly how you should use them at certain times. 
So that's where working one-on-one -on -one with a pelvic physiotherapist is the best option for really optimizing your muscular function. Once you learn how to optimize your muscular function, you are really tapping into one of the potential root causes of your erectile function. If you learn how to use your muscles and perhaps relax them better or strengthen them better or both, then you can actually treat the erectile dysfunction. So this goes from um, no longer being a quick fix to this is a long-term solution for you. And if your erectile dysfunction starts to come back at any point in your life, you can go, oh, right, my muscles might not be working well. Maybe you got, you went through a really stressful period and oftentimes a stressful period of your life creates muscle tension in this region. And you can go back to the exercises you know. You can go back to your physiotherapist and you can rework on your muscles and then your function should improve again. Another really important area to talk about is the psychology and the nervous system involvement in sexual activity and in your ability to have an erection. If you're going through a really stressful time, if you have fear around sex, if you have performance anxiety, if you have any internalized shame, the list goes on. All of those things can actually impact your ability to have an erection and they can actually impact what your pelvic floor muscles are doing in that moment. So how the muscles are actually responding. So if you're more stressed, you're more anxious, you're more, you have more fear, that can actually make you tighten your pelvic floor muscles. And like I mentioned at the start, you need to be able to relax your muscles so that blood can flow into your penis. So if you're tightening too much, you're actually constricting the flow and the blood can't flow into your penis. So addressing the psychological and nervous system factors are a huge component of being able to obtain an erection. And so definitely, Involving someone on your team who could help you in that mental health aspect of things, especially if there's something that you need to work through. And also, if you do see a pelvic physiotherapist looking for someone who knows how to help you with that nervous system component, knows how to help you recognize if your nervous system is getting hyperactive or if you're getting really in your head about it, and teaching you how you can stay in your body and out of your head. A lot of times we can do this through breath. We can do this through different movements. And sometimes I'll actually involve people's sexual partner in our sessions to help explain how they can help you stay in your body and um, stay relaxed as well. If you really want to get started with pelvic physiotherapy, but if you're not sure if it's accessible to you, please don't hesitate to visit the link in our caption of this video and you can book a free 15 minute discussion with one of our physiotherapists. The other thing that you can do is you can access my pelvic physiotherapy yoga classes. I'll put one of my favorite ones here for you. And in this yoga class, I explain how you can move your pelvic floor muscles with breath and you can start to tap into your relationship with your pelvic floor muscles. Of course, that's not going to be as individualized as if you work with someone one-on-one. -on -one. However, it's definitely better than not knowing how to move your muscles at all. We would be happy to chat with you. We chat with everyone over video call, but also there could be some incredible pelvic physiotherapists in your area, so you can search them out. Please don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed learning about this content, and please don't hesitate to write any questions you might have in the comments below or like I said you can book a call with one of our physiotherapists so that you can chat with someone one-on-one -on -one over video. Good luck with everything. I really hope this video gave you hope. There is so much that you can do and there's so much that we can help you with. Have a great rest of your day.